What's up guys? So today, um, this is actually my first time I've ever um, rendered video and recorded at the same time. So we'll see if how this turns out. Hopefully it's not too laggy, but my computer is really kind of lagging right now. But anyways, what we're going to do is in this video is make a bootable USB. It's a boot and operating system. Um, that's all we're doing. So this is just a quick tutorial. We're not booting into the operating system. This isn't going to cover the BIOS or anything, but this is going to show you how to make a USB that you can boot. And this is by far, I believe, the easiest way to do this, the easiest way you could possibly do it. There is no way easier to do it than this. Um, you don't have to go through like power ISO or anything or download some BS program like that. So what I use is this universal USB installer version 1. Point blah 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 dot exe. I will put a link in the description um, that where you can actually download this file. But um, to um, okay, let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's change this the color scheme so that it runs better. This is because we're running so much crap the computer can barely keep up with it. So anyways, that's better. All right. Anyways, um. So what, what's going to happen is we can open up this exe and you're just going to have to click yes, approve it, and la la la, allow it. So basically, it's just a program where you just click I agree. You never read the terms, whoever reads terms. And it has a ton of operating systems which you can choose from. So basically, oh my gosh, this is so slow. Hopefully it doesn't lag in the recording. But... um. What what it has is all these Linux operating systems. It's mainly made for Linux, as you can tell, the Penguin. But um, it has a ton of Linux distributions. But it also has like Windows distributions, and it has like things like Conboot and Hiren's Boot CD, and just tons of different operating systems you can choose from. So you basically choose your your um, whoops, choose your ISO. And if it's not on here, if you can't find the operating system that you're looking for, choose Try Unlisted ISO. So you can pretty much choose any disk, um, any operating system, and it will work. So what we're going to do in this uh, tutorial, in this uh, version, is we'll just go ahead and use the Windows 7 installer. So what this is going to do is we select the Windows 7. Now you have to find your ISO file. So we're going to browse to the ISO file. In my case, um, my file is under um, operating my operating systems folder and Windows 7 and then we're just gonna click on Windows 7 ISO blah 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 so once you have downloaded your ISO or you've got your ISO from whatever source you've got it from that's not my problem I don't know where you get your ISOs from but anyways you're gonna select the drive letter so if you're unsure like me we're just gonna go ahead and open up computer and I'm gonna find it so I can see that it's this um, I drive so it's the I drive so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is select drive I. Don't ever check this, guys. If you s select show all drives, it even says be careful because you don't want to do something stupid like format your C drive or something or put all these files on your C drive. You just want to use a USB. And if it's not showing up under here without checking this box, then it's probably not the right drive. So we're going to go ahead and click the I drive. I want to check that box again. And then we'll go ahead and hit format. Now. Um, I forgot to mention that the flash drive that you use for this has to be big enough to hold the operating system. I would say you should use at least an 8 gig for Windows. Um, if you're doing Linux, typically a 4 gig drive will do. Um, and it should be a fresh drive. There should be nothing on it. So you can't like use your flash drive that has all your porn and stuff on it. You have to have a brand new flash drive. Or not brand new, but it has to have nothing on it. And if it does have something on it, that it makes you take it off there if you need it. And then you just click format, and it'll format it as FAT32. You, I always format it. Sometimes this will cause problems. If it does, um, if it doesn't for some reason format your drive, just try it again without formatting it. But make sure it is a clean drive, and make sure there's nothing on it. So then, what I'm gonna do is all you do is just hit create. It'll do this little magic thing. It'll be like, are you sure? Are you sure? Of course. You just hit yes. It's not an error or anything. It's just gonna make sure that what you're doing is that you are aware that you're going to delete all your shit and it's going to put um, an operating system on there. So what it's doing is it's formatting it right now and then once it does this um, depending on what operating system you choose it will take some time to install it on the um, 
USB, but basically what it's going to do is it's going to take that ISO, open it up and expand it and um, put all the files on your USB and make your USB bootable so that you can boot it so that you can set the boot priority in the BIOS and boot from that USB. So that's pretty much all you have to do. Um, it will take forever to load, but um, in a second here, yeah, you'll have this little window that pops up and it gives you a better estimation of your time remaining and it shows you the speed that it's going at, how much, how big the files are and how much has processed. So it'll take anywhere from, depending on the speed of USB and the size of the file, the ISO that you're doing, anywhere from five minutes to maybe five hours. I don't know. It just depends. But that's pretty much it. Once this has finished, you have a bootable USB that you can use and um, boot up in just about any computer. So this is by far, I think, the easiest way to make a bootable USB. Um, if you have a better way of doing it, definitely leave a comment below or um, uh, make a video response or whatever. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, visit me at thehackhub.com. And like always, guys, have a good one.